Uh, this is a combination of bearing and sharing stress. So we have here a what we call as a clevis. So it's actually just um, if you view it in isometric view, it's just like this. No? Where this is the bolt and nut, and you insert it. And the holes. No? These are holes where you can insert this uh, bolt so that um, it will hold no? the bolt in this place. So it's subjected with a, a 14 kip um, tensile load or tensile force. So we're asked to find the bolt diameter and yoke thickness. So these are the yokes. Yoke thickness. Um, if the limiting uh, limiting limiting shear stress in the in the bolt is uh, 12 ksi, and the limiting bearing stress in the yoke is uh, 20 ksi so our working equations here we have of course um, we have the for, uh, for shear stress we have v over a and then for um, bearing stress we have pb over a a, B and uh, which, uh, you find first the diameter if you can observe um, this drawing um, we have two actually we have two um, sheared areas here with just an action of a single force we have two uh, sheared areas no? so this is what we call as a case when we have a double shear so this is this there's a single load applied but the sheared area are yeah, but we have two sheared areas so but the equation is still the same only that we have to um, solve for two areas or we have to include two areas as the shearing areas so again we are concerned with the diameter we are, we are going to find the diameter so it's in this uh, variable of the area so tau a is just equal to v so our V here is just equal to 14 kips because of summation of forces along the y-axis we just have um, if we cut some section here somewhere we will have um, let me just show, show it we'll have 14 and we have this one P or equals of V so we have 14 we have tau is uh, limited to 12 KSI area is uh, pi over 4 d squared times 2 this is the area which is equal to we have the v which is uh, 14 kips so the inches here where the kips cancels out so we only have the inches so you only have the d as the unknown you can solve for d as um, 0. 8618 inches so this is not the diameter of your bolt so you just uh, plug in this to your calculator and then you can um, press um, shift solve or you can evaluate this one by one 14 divided by 12 first and then you have divided by 2 divided by pi over 4 and then you have to do square root so and then uh, you will uh, you will arrive at this um, this answer so for the bearing stress we have Again, this one you have the bearing stress equals 20 ksi the pb is uh, 14 again 14 kips now for this uh, particular um, case we also have two areas no? two yokes for the same single loading no? which is p and then you have two areas so you have 14 kips is uh, the area is just um, twice no? it's two areas diameter which is uh, 0 0.8618 times your thickness now why 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 this one because um, due to the force p that um, pulls the or pulls um, this uh, direction so it, it's, it's in direction for example or whatever no so for example if we take this p in this direction or 
we take na lang this uh, P in this direction somehow it um, the reaction force or the internal force is pushing both the bolt to that direction no? so the stress areas here are these areas no? we have this uh, projected rectangular areas which is in dimension of D times your thickness of your yoke so again that's a projected um, area because as you push or as you pull here with your um, 14 keeps uh, force somehow there's a reaction force that pushes your your ball to that direction so this is the area that has been pushed by your reaction forces no? which is the diameter times the thickness so that's why the area here the bearing area is diameter times thickness the diameter of the bolt is this one times your thickness you only have the single node so you can evaluate this or you can plug in this, this calculator and then shift solve so thickness is equal to 0 0.4661 or 4061 inches so I'm also encouraging you to solve this on your own so that you can confirm the numbers and just comment on the video below if uh, there are some erroneous some computations anyway the process is still the same so we have the double shear here and then you also have two um, areas anyway it's just the same if you if you're if you will use the summation of forces y for example equals zero and then you have v or 2v equals p then you will have v equals one half p so if you if you're gonna use the one half p um the shear equation you will have um, tau a equals v which is one half p you will have um, tau which is uh, 12 ksi times area which is pi over 4 d squared equals 1 half p and then you still have this factor 2 the 2 you still have to transfer this and then you will still get the same stay the same equation same with the bearing stress now if you're if you're going to use the pb is just equal to 1 half p and then you evaluate this one so you will still arrive at the where you will have this one the two so I just I just try so you have stress p equals pb over area b and then we have stress b and then you have pb is just one of p over ab so again the two can still transfer here and you will still have the same equation as this one no? where you have the 2 as a um, multiplier now for the area so, so it's just still it's still the same will, you will still arrive at the same answer whether you you incorporate the value of 2 on the summation of forces like this one and this one or you incorporate this on the area times 2 for two areas just as long as hindi uh, madobli no? masin times 2 ka sa area mag times 2 pag ka sa force so this is just a case of um, double shear and then combination of your bearing and your shear stresses